Okay, hello, good morning everyone. So, I am Roswing Asibanda, one of the instructors in Ag Entrep 221, are the principles of agricultural entrepreneurship or economics and marketing. Okay, this subject is offered uh, for this semester, second semester, school year 2020-2021. Okay, so this um, subject, the description, is the basic principles of economics and marketing and its application to agriculture and international trade. And, of course, this is offered to the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture second year students. And uh, that is the list of your instructors and I'm handling uh, BSE to E. Okay, I'm Sevandal Roswin L. Now, this is the topic's outline. We have six um, units Okay, unit 1, Introduction to Agricultural Economics and Marketing. Unit 2, The Microeconomics. Unit 3, The Macroeconomics. Unit 4, Agricultural and Economic Growth. Unit 5, International Economics. And then unit 6, Agricultural Marketing. So now we will discuss on the um, Unit 1, Introduction to Agricultural Economics and Marketing. So at the end of the chapter, you will be able to define the agricultural economics and marketing terms, determine the nature and scope of agricultural economics, and identify the different ideologies or theories of economic system. So what is economics? What is economics? So economics, according to Wallstead and Bingham, it is a social science concern with using scarce resources to obtain the maximum satisfaction of the unlimited wants. Okay, unlimited material wants of the society. And according to Samuelson and Nordos, the study of how societies use the scarce resources to produce the valuable commodities and distribute them among different people. And according to Colin, the study of production, distribution, selling and use of the goods and services. And according to McConnell and Brew, economics is a social science concerned with using the scarce resources to obtain the maximum satisfaction of the unlimited material wants of society. And according to Park, Kin, and Buddy, the study of how people use their limited resources to try to satisfy the unlimited ones. For that economics, of course, in overall, kung atong is sum up ng ilahang mga definition, economics, it is a social science that deals with the study of how individuals and society generally make choices that involve the proper allocation and the use of scarce resources to produce the goods and services that will satisfy the various wants and needs of a man and according to Samuelson in 1973. So, manang economics. And economics, it comes from the Greek word. no? Greek word ni siya na gitawag na tong oikonomia. Oikonomia, which means household management. Oiko means household, nomia management. So, manang gitawag na ito nga, o ekonomia is the household management. Okay. So, manang economics, but what is agricultural economics? So, again, maraglahi man ang mga klaseng economics, ang daghang klaseng economics, managerial economics, business economics, and any economics. So, karon, what is agricultural economics? So, agricultural economics, it applies the principles of economics to crop and animal production. And it deals with the allocation of the scarce resources for competing the alternative uses found in the production, processing, distribution, and consumption of the food, feed, and fiber. So in the Philippines, the BAEX, uh, uh, the BAE, the Bureau of Agricultural Economics, was formed on June 22, 1963, under Pasha sa Office of the Secretary of Agriculture and Natural Resources. So, na-form na siya on 1963. So, mga important terms economics. When we see choice, 
Okay, refers to the action made by the individual as a rational being. Ang sinong choice? Action ni mo. Kagustuhan ni mo. Awag ipilit ni mo. Yan na, choice. Then allocation. It refers to the idea of putting resources into their best use. Idea of putting, allocate. You have that idea of putting resources. Then scarcity. Scarcity refers to the condition where in most things, especially economic goods, that people want are available only in limited supply. Scarcity. Kalison. Kakulangon. Okay, mo nang scarcity. Kakulangon. Okay. Mga economic goods, ng isang pangkatong atong gusto, available only in limited supply. So, limited lang na siya. Okay. Once, it refers to the needs or desires of a man which may not be necessary for the human body to function normally. Manang once. No? Uh, kagustuhan. No? Kagustuhan ni mo. Kagustuhan ni mo. But, it not, uh, not be necessary for the human body to function. Example, cellphone lang. Mga computers and others. Needs gani, these are the basic necessities of man required for the body to function normally. Example, the foods, the shelter, and the clothing. Manang needs. Mga kinahanglan. So, kinahanglan o mga kailangan. Kinahanglan o kagustuhan. So, lay lay na sila. Kinahanglan ni mo siya kay gusto ni mo siya. O kagustuhan ni mo na kay kinahanglan ni mo siya. So, yung nga na siya, bali-bali lang. But important is the needs. Now, when we see services, these are intangible things which also satisfy the human wants. So, this includes the services of doctor, engineer, teacher, house help, lawyer, beautician, and others. Mga services. Gamit ang tao. Okay. Doctor ko. So, I have to service to serve you as a doctor. So, mga, mga services. Ginabayaran niya po. Okay. Human services. Now, when we see Production Possibilities Frontier or the PPF, it is a useful tool for illustrating the choices available to society and its constraints. So, all the possible combinations of the maximum amounts of two goods and services that can be produced with a given amount of resources. So, inside the PPF, sa iyang graph, matawag na ito nga, inefficient use of resources. Kung outside sa PPF pod, infeasible, not feasible. Okay. So, when we see Citeris Paribos, Citeris Paribos, meaning, other things being equal or other things held constant. Importante ni nga term no, sa economics, the citeres paribos. Being equal or being constant. Okay. Citeres paribos. Now the goods. Ano sa po ng goods? These are tangible things that satisfy the human wants. Tangible. Makita na ito. And this can be two types. Economic good or the free goods. Economic good are good which are scarce and therefore cannot be obtained without paying some amount. Ngunit ang mga goods nga sa limited, no kulang. O dilit na ito, makuha kung dilit na ito, mabayaran. So important ito mabayaran. Example, mga books, residential lot, medical care, bicycles, and others. Economic good. When we see free goods, those goods which are created for us by God. Kinakreate ni God, like air, sunlight, water. However, some of these are becoming scarce to time. Okay, sa una, libre ra ang hangin, ang uh, init, ang tubig. Pero karon, ginabayra na ang tubig o ginabayra na ang hangin. Anong hangin man, sir? Nang oxygen, di ba? Mga hospital gani, anak na yun. Bayad na ka, anak. Water, nagpahit na tag-ice water, piso tag-2, tag-3. Na na sa battle ang water. Sa una, libre na na. Karon, bayra na na. So, usay, delete na siya. Usay, karon, murag di na kayo matawag na free goods. Only the sunlight. I don't know. If, wabay, wabay, sunlight. Murag, what man? Sunlight is sunlight. Okay, pero, po, no, takabalo sa mga panghitabo. Okay. When we see, of course, resources, it refers to the raw materials or ingredients to be used in the production of goods and services. And there are four kinds of resources. The natural resources, or when we see land, it is 
refers to the God-given gifts of nature, of course, land. The man-made resources or the capital, it refers to resources made by the man, capital. And the human resources, the labor, refers to physical, physical and mental effort of a man. And when we say management, entrepreneurial ability refers to the decision-making of the business firms. Since ones are unlimited and the resources are limited ng atong binaingon, di ba, daghang kay ta gusto, pero kulang. Dili na ito makuha, tanan na itong gusto. Nga naman na. Gusto ni mo siya, pero dili ni mo siya maimo. I felt that. Pero, the real problem good sa economics is scarcity. Scarcity, ah. This is scarcity, kakulangon. So scarcity, it is the imbalance between our desires and the means of satisfying those desires. And it is a common problem faced by the poor and of course also the rich societies. Gina problem may po na sa dato. Magunsa na yung kwarta kung kulang tag mga pagkaon, mga butang, mga unsa pa na diya. Diba? Kinangalanan na to. So tananta, hindi na Uh, sa summary, tananta mo ay atong problema kakulangon sa mga resources in uh, dili sa earth okay. now, opportunity cost opportunity cost may be defined as the cost of choosing to use the resources for one purpose measured by the sacrifice of the next best alternative for using those resources for example, if a farmer chooses to send this child to college rather than expanding his farm, his opportunity cost is the additional output of the farm. Okay, ginapili sa farmer nga mapaiskwila ang iyang anak kaysa unahon niya ang iyang farm. So, meaning ana, ang iyang opportunity cost ana, nag-add siya o output sa farm. Yung siya pag-add, paiskwila ho na akong anak, ang akong anak kay puhon sa man makatabang po ni sa akong farm. Diba? That's opportunity cost. So, yung anak siya, choosing one, or this is a uh, meaning anak mo, nakay ginasakripisyo. That's opportunity cost. Ginas ginasakripisyo ni mo ang isa, o naonsa ni mo ang isa. And you have to see the good in each options. Okay? You have to sacrifice one for the good of the one. So, yung anak siya, that's opportunity cost. Na the fundamental economic problem o ng mga pangutan na yun. Unsa or what goods and services must be produced and it what quantities. Unsa kang akong uh, i-produce nga goods karon. Unsa ka nga service akong buhaton? Og pila ka ha? Nya na siyang pangutan na. Pero ang pangutan na, how shall these goods and services be produced? So naa na ko na una naan. Unsa ang puna ko ni pag-produce? Unsa ang ka? Unsa akong buhaton? Yan na po ng pangutan na. Ikatulad na yun, for whom shall these goods and services be produced? Na anak at tanan, para asa da ina imong produkto, para asa da ina imong servisyo. Mao ng mga pangutan And this is the main fundamental economic problem. Okay, the three questions. The three questions are the fundamental economic problem. Now we will move forward to the types of economic system. So, economic systems are classified as follows. We have capitalism, communism, socialism, and mixed economies. Okay. When we see capitalism, it is an economic system characterized by private individuals owning and operating the majority of business that produce. So, on right to capitalism, you have the right to own a private property, right to gain profits, right to make business decision, and right of choice. Okay. There are forms of capitalism. Nakikitawag na ito ang pure and modified. So, pure cap capitalism, all economic decisions are made without government interventions. And then the competition serves to determine the goods and services needed by the society. Then the competition will determine who will survive in the marketplace. While modified capitalism, the government intervenes and regulate the business to a certain extent. Kimo nang sa modify. Second, communism. 
It is a society in which the government owns all the nation's resource. So all rights stated in the capitalisms are not allowed in communism. Gina control so ang gobyerno ang nagtagiya tanan sa communism. Sa socialism, the government owns and operates the basic industries and the private individuals are allowed however to own and operate the small businesses. Ano socialism? While the mixed economies, a mixed economy is one that has elements from more than one economic system. Pwede siya na communism, capitalism, and the socialism. Both pri private and state enterprise. Okay. Kita Pilipinas na ata sa mixed economy. Mawag po sa mga feudalism, wala pata sa, uh, sa para communism. Mixed economy ta. Then the economic resources, we have four economic resources sa kong ginaingon. The basic or the four factors of production, we have the land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship or the management. So when we see land, include the land used for agricultural or industrial purposes as well as natural resources taking form above or below the soil. That's the land, resources, agricultural or industrial purposes. Labor, productive services embodied in human physical effort. Skill, intellectual powers, and others. Labor. Mga services nga gamit ang atong mga physical effort, atong skill, and atong intellectual powers kung naman galing. Pero tanan, kung may bugok yun, kung gamito lang otok, we have that intellectual powers. Then capital. It is durable goods produced in order to produce other goods. Okay, mga durable goods nga ginaproduce in order po nga makaproduce sa other goods. Example, mga machine. So, muna ang ma mga equipment. Muna ang mga capital. Then, entrepreneurial ability. It is an ability to decide on and implement the right combination of the first three factors of production. Okay, of course, sabtan. And there are eight economic goals. We have the economic growth, full employment, economic efficiency, Price level stability, economic freedom, equitable distribution of income, economic security, then the balance of trade. Okay, economic growth, what is desired by society is a higher standard of living. For employment, there must be jobs for those who are willing and able to work. Dapat lang, ang goals economic, full employment, good. Pero, magdagang pagyapon ang percentage sa unemployed. Then economic efficiency, this is a goal that requires using the resources to derive the maximum benefit for society. Then we have the price level stability. The economy should be able to avoid a great fluctuation in the general level of prices. Pwede kaya pumalik kaya ng atong price, mutaas, maubos, mutaas, maubos, fluctuate kaya po na siya. So di gin mag-maintain. Karo na anata sa taas ng mga presyo, mga baboy, mga manok, nagkataas, taang presyo. Then economic freedom, of course, goal na sa economy. A high degree of freedom to choose what economic activity to undertake should be afforded to the various sector. Then equitable distribution of income. So equal uh, income dapat. Maunang goal po sa economy. So the economy must not to be made up of a certain group that is support while other groups swallow in great luxury. So marabag. Uh, ubang grupo pahayay lang dato kayo ubang grupo po doon agad pobre naning kamot so dapat equate equal distribution then economic security there should be enough provision for those who are not able to earn minimal income dapat na security dapat provision katong uh, walay good income walay good naka walay trabaho man lang okay then the balance of trade a balance of trade that is reasonable it must be maintain. Okay. Now, there are two division of economics. Yung tawag na itong microeconomics and the macroeconomics. Microeconomics is concerned with the behavior and activities of specific economic units. Ang involve sa micro, mga individuals, households, firms, industries, and the resource owner. Mga ginagmay. Then while macro, may nang macroeconomics din ko, it deals with the behavior of the economy as a whole with respect to output, income, 
price level, foreign trade, unemployment, and other aggregate economic variables. So this is the basis. No, the basis. Ang micro study of the individual then the macro study as economy as a whole. It deals, ang micro, it deals with individual units, demand and supply of particular commodities, then the price determination of commodities or factors production, then the relative prices decide in this narrow yung scope. While macro, wider ang scope, absolute price decide, uh, it determine the level of income and employment, then aggregate demand and supply of economy as a whole. Okay. Na ito ginatawag nga, positive economics and the normative economics. These two are the methods of economic reasoning. So, positive economics, it deals with what is to be done. What is to be done to solve a particular economic problem. Kung si akong buhaton para ma-solve, o kung si ang buhaton para ma-solve ang problema sa ekonomiya. And this is a scientific statement based on the predictions of economic theory. While sa normative economics, it tells what is owed or should be done. What should be done? Unsa yun di ay to solve a particular economic problem. So this statement is based on the value judgment or the norms or belief of the society. Okay. So muna ang sa positive o sa normative economics. Now, on the history of economics, muna yung mga theories sa itong economics. Okay. The prehistory economics has developed into a body of knowledge by the various thinkers or the writers, some of whom were called earlier as, tinatawag sila mga philosophers, mercantilists, pam pamphleters, arithmeticians, political economists, and then as economists na karon. Okay. On classical economics, a market economy tends toward an equilibrium with full employment and tends to be stable if monetary conditions are stable. And the changes in the quality of money are the major cause of changes in aggregate demand. So sa classical economics, mga mga tao nga involved. First, si Adam Smith. Si Adam Smith, it is the father of modern economics. Okay, Adam Smith, ah, father of modern economics. In Wealth of Nation, which is 1776, the first book, he advocated the laissez fair or the left alone policy in the invisible hands theory, which in essence means that for the economic system to function efficiently, the government should not interfere with the business and commerce. Okay, ang i-advocate ni Adam Smith ang laissez fair or gintawag, left alone or when sa giling pa please leave me alone so ayo pagbuot i have the freedom life is fair leave me alone mao na siyang meaning ah, sa english okay kung gusto ka magpabiya sa iya kay gi samukan ka ina lang life is fair meaning ana leave me alone okay no mao na ilan so, si adam smith ayo kalinti the father of modern economics then, involved yan po sa classical economics si David Ricardo. David Ricardo proposed the labor theory of value, which states that the labor thou creates value. Of course. So, in principles of political economy and taxation, he elaborated on the theory of value, taxation, and international trade in the classical tradition. So, nagyan po si Thomas Maltos. Thomas Maltos, uh, he is the English economist and demographer directly connected the problems of an economic system to the rapid growth of the population. So, si Thomas Maltos. Then, si John Stuart Mill, uh, ear of, of David Ricardo in the exposition of classical economics in the principles of political economy, which dominated economics throughout the second half of the 19th century. So, under maunto mga tao under sa classical economics. After that, we have that neoclassical economics. So, the value depends on both cost of productions, supply and utility, then the development of microeconomics, economic measurement involving the tools of modern uh, probability and statistics, 
and of course special techniques were also introduced. Now, uh, Leon Walras, one mga tao nga nasa neoclassical economics. Leon Walras introduced the general economic system. Um, analysis of general equilibrium was achieved. Then si Alfred Marshall, the father of economics, uh, he emphasized that price and output are determined by the supply and demand. Okay. Then si John Maynard Keynes, the father of mac macrony, macroeconomics. Now, si John Maynard Keynes, the father of macroeconomics, he published his general theory of employment, interest, and money in the 1930s, which changed the focus of economics to macroeconomics. So, economics lang unta basic, so gina change ang focus into macroeconomics. So, gina discuss na di ang national income, employment, general price levels, and the fiscal policy. After that, sa so classical mga socialist econom economist na punta. So, sa socialist economics, uh, na si Karl Marx. Si Karl Marx in Das Kapital, he attempted an ambitious effort in examining the law of motion of the capitalist production by embracing the historical, sociological, and economic aspects together. And had a predictive model, that of the ultimate collapse of the capitalist system. So, influenced leaders of the Bolshevik Revolution. Then, si Friedrich Engels, uh, collaborator of Karl Marx niya in the foundation of communism, and is, uh, he's a co-author the Communist Manifesto with Karl Marx. And, of course, mga ito ang mga history sa economics. And that's the end of our Unit 1 in the Principle of Agriculture Economics and Marketing. Okay? So, see you for our Chapter 2, the Microeconomics. Thank you.